Hello, my very capable Capricorns and Capricorn Rising friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com. We're here to do your May 2022 forecast. First six houses here on YouTube. Remainder, of course, will be in the extended contained in the description box below, where we will go through your seventh through the twelfth houses. Sorry, I thought I had to sneeze. I have a lot of cards on this table today. So before I started doing the May forecast, I was told to go to the box of cards, go dig out the Abraham Hicks um, Law of Attraction deck. So we're going to be ending with this Law of Attraction affirmation with you today. So that's a little extra added bonus. But let's get to your May reading, shall we? First of all, we have Mental Conflict. The Capricorn is confused and indecisive. They're not sure what move to make, what turn to take at the beginning of May. Most likely someone is throwing you mixed signals or it can be some decision that you feel like you are in a fork in the road and you're not quite sure where to turn. Now, Brigitte is here to talk about don't back down. So what this means is don't back down until you get to the bottom of this confusion. If this is a person, it's going to require you asking a lot of questions. It doesn't have to be standoffish um, or offensive in any way, but basically you just need clarity. You need to clarify what this person is telling you because the actions are not matching the words and vice versa. Okay, so you're going to have to be clearing up that confusion. I like this. Capricorn, okay, so this is good news for the Capricorn money and your stuff. The universe is the world card in traditional tarot. It says everything you need is already here. All you have to do is open your arms and give thanks. Sometimes it can be difficult for the Capricorn to give gratitude because they're always on to the next thing and they're always thinking about what they haven't done yet and what needs to be done, right? But it's going to be important to take a step back and take a deep breath outside in nature and just take brief moments to relax and chill and give thanks for all that you are, for how far you've come and for everything that you, the M, I'm hearing the empire that you have built, Capricorn, and I'm getting goosebumps right now, the empire, because that's what it is. It might not feel that way to you right now, but to someone who knows you, who's outside looking in, that's exactly what they see, okay? We have Butterfly Maiden, even better transformation a major transformation is about to take place in your house of finances and your stuff this can be a superior upgrade for the capricorn you could be upgrading your house your lifestyle your car um your environment somehow i'm even hearing like people in your life so this could be an upgrade in your relationships that's a good thing a very good thing. Now, your third house, brother, sister, stand up, stand your ground. So this could be that your brother or sister needs to stand up for themselves. This could also be that you need to stand up for yourself when it comes to the relationship with your brother or sister. What is the advice card here? The arts. This person shares some sort of artistic ability with someone else close to them in their life. And so, yes, they need to stand up for themselves and not get pushed around. But at the same time, you know, they need to focus on the things that they have in common and the things that brought them together in the first place. And if this is you that's sort of feuding with your sibling right now, you know, you may want to make a suggestion. Hey, if you guys play musical instruments, I'm just giving you an example hey, let's go play somewhere, practice our music, compose music. Let's go to the painting and uh, wine place or, you know, the pottery, paint pottery, something like that to try to diffuse that. Okay, fourth house, challenge, challenging 
times at the home front. Now, for most of you, this is going to have to do with who you live with, but this could also have to do with the physical house that you're in, in that it needs to be kept up, right? There needs to be some sort of repair or upgrade going on there. But you do have Guinevere, which talks about true love. So whatever this challenge is, the focus is going to be on getting to that true love. Now, for many of you who are partnered, I feel like this directly relates to what we're going to go into in your seventh house of relationships in the extended. We will get to that um, in the extended later if that calls to you. I know it's not going to be everyone, only a select few. Okay, so your fifth house, your house of fun, your social life. Sometimes a child can show up in the fifth house, but the majority of the time it's the 11th. Okay, new beginnings. So for those of you single Capricorn, you could, Capricorns, you could meet someone this month, start up a brand new relationship. This could be starting up a brand new friendship or a complete new circle of friends. This could be you clearing out old friends on your friends list and adding new people. Um, for those of you that this is relevant for your child, they could be starting something brand new in their life. And, you know, this kind of coincides with that 11th house. They pulled something big, big news with children in the 11th house this month. Imania is here to talk about golden opportunities. This could not be paired better with the New Beginnings card. I love it and I'm getting goosebumps from head to toe right now, which is a good thing, by the way. Some readers, it's not a good thing, but for me it is because it means that I'm speaking truth to someone out there that needs to hear this message. This card indicates that whoever this is, if it's your child, if it's you in your dating life, you need to walk through the doors now in the month of May. Don't wait because we don't know how long these doors are going to be open. Let's face it, these are just the times that we're living in right now. When the golden opportune time strikes, you need to strike Capricorn while the iron is hot. And if this is your child that it's regarding, then you need to have this conversation with them and not to procrastinate, not to put it off another minute. It is important to take this opportunity as it is handed to them, okay, with a thank you. All right, now let's get into something serious. Your sixth house, work and health, heartache and loss. This is a bummer card, major disappointment. Either someone has disappointed you at work, at your job, about a job, this could be like a promotion that you were turned down for, or maybe a job that you applied for that you were hoping you would get and you got you get a letter in the month of May that says, I'm sorry, we moved on to a different applicant or something like that. But you know, for many of you Capricorns, this is going to be a, you work, work, work like a dog, the boss, the superiors, whoever they are, the owners, they know that about you. They see it day in and day out. They see you put in hard working hours, probably overtime, but basically you're doing the work of three people and they load you up with even more because why not, right? Let's see what the Capricorn breaking point is. Thumbs down. No, 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 no. The Capricorn has had enough of that crapola because we have Ishtar and boundaries. It is time to draw that line in the sand, Capricorn. Put your foot down. You've had enough, you can't take it anymore. And you're burned out, right? This is the burnout message. Now, for a select few of you, this could be about your health, but for the majority of you, it's going to be about your work. Um, and I'm saying that because I was getting, well, this, you know, the sixth house does rule health. If you've had a health issue, problem, ailment, make sure you see a doctor. 
This is not in place of medical advice. You have to get it checked out. You have to get to the bottom of it. For some of you, this could be a sad diagnosis. I don't see that, you know, that I don't see any indication whatsoever that this is a, um, uh, you know, like real, real serious long term, but there's definitely something that needs a fix here. And I went right to the Archangel Michael Health or Healing Deck rather, and we pulled organic foods and we pulled prayer. And what the message that came to me when I pulled these two cards is this, and this, my Capricorn grandmother used to say this, and I heard her words as I, as I pulled these cards. Sandra, you can pray about it and that's good but you better do something about it too. So in other words, pray about it, that's great, but you have to make the change. For some of you, you could have been diagnosed recently with a diverticulitis, diverticulosis, or Crohn's disease, or you could have had a flare up of such thing because I was getting that too as soon as I pulled both those cards, especially with the organic foods message. All right, so, so uh, take that as you see fit. Now, before we go into the extended reading, of course, I pulled three cards to see who's around my Capricorns. In the seventh house of primary relationships, we have heavy water signs. You pulled two cup cards and a judgment card, Scorpio, 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 but also could be Cancer Pisces here who's around the Capricorn in the seventh house. Now, we're almost done. We're gonna go to that Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks card. My manifesting thoughts are buffered by time, which is a good thing because we don't want all thoughts to come true instantly, right? Especially when we're not in the greatest of moods. The bottom of this card says, your earth is a nice environment for fine-tuning your knowledge. For hear your thoughts, do not translate into instant equivalents. Your thoughts are governed by a buffer of time. If you were instantly manifesting, you would be spending more time trying to fix your mistakes than you would be in creating what you want. Well, isn't that a blessing? So somebody needs to hear that message today. We're gonna to take it to the extended. We're gonna be looking at your relationship in depth. We're gonna be looking at your intimacy life, your taxes, your legal matters, your contracts, the source of your significant other's income. For those of you that have that, we're gonna be looking at your school and your vacation. For those of you that that pertains to, we're gonna be looking at your career and your mother, your children or your best friend and the future card, which shows up in August. Many blessings to my Capricorn friends. Take care.